This is not an unreasonable demand, and yet the administration has taken unreasonable and escalatory steps to repress us. McGill University has requested an injunction to dismantle the pro-Palestinian encampments on its downtown Montreal campus. If granted, the court order would require these protesters to dismantle the encampment and prevent anyone from camping on or occupying the campus. McGill says the injunction would authorize the Montreal police to arrest and remove any person who violates the court order. They have decided to resort to these tactics of repression and intimidation and bringing police on campus. The announcement was made Friday evening with McGill University citing mostly health and safety concerns. However, students say there is no cause for concern. On site, we have experts and professionals and doctors and medics that are on site to ensure that um, our community is following certain security guidelines and to also ensure the sanitization of the encampment. Pro-Palestinian protesters have been asking both McGill and Concordia University to divest from Israeli institutions and companies they say are complicit in the genocide of the Palestinian people. There's an ongoing genocide that has killed 40,000 people. That is why there are students camping um, in lower field at, at the moment, um, and they have made their demands very clear, and they are intending on staying until these demands are met. Since the start of the encampment two weeks ago, this is the second time an injunction has been sought. The first attempt, filed by two McGill students, failed after a judge ruled it would infringe on the protesters' right to freedom of speech and peaceful assembly. The group says they're hopeful this injunction will also be rejected. Encampments like these are popping up all over North America. On Thursday night, Calgary police officers forcibly removed a group of protesters from an encampment set up on the University of Calgary campus. Five people were arrested. And on Saturday morning, Edmonton police armed with batons took down the pro-Palestinian encampments at the University of Alberta. Three people were arrested. However, police say they weren't students. We stand in full solidarity with campuses across North America who are facing police brutality and repression at the hands of their universities. The case will be presented at the Montreal Courthouse on Monday. Until then, students at the encampment are staying put. We will not be deterred. We will remain here until our demands are met. In Montreal, Sweet City News.